Um, okay, sorry folks. Um, my name is Dan O'Connell, sometimes called Doc. Um, I have no medical qualifications, so please don't have a, a problem medically here. Um, the system I have, and uh, I, unless we can get on it uh, on the internet, I can't show you, but you could take a look at it yourself. It's pretty rough. The data is also rough, but it helps you find beer in Ontario. So <laughs> I think maybe that's uh, some advantage. I thought, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the URL should, uh, is called um, bogusbeer, one word, dot appspot dot com. If any of you recognize that uh, URL, it, you know, it's Google's app engine, and I happen to have loaded this up on, on their app. The reason I started this was basically because I have an interest in what I call features. Is that any better? Yes, oh yeah, <laughs> lots better. Um, yeah, I have an interest in what I call features, and I try to extract information that gives you um, let's say in the case of beer, the cheapest beer, uh, the beer with the most percentage of alcohol, uh, various other forms. Uh, the one that I like the best is the, you know, the, the best bang for your buck, which is the most alcohol for the amount of money that you pay. <laughs> um, now, <laughs> the, the thing is, I like to, this system gets generalized to, uh, to various other uh, products that could be cameras, they could be cars. I happen to have an interest in casting plastics, so I'm doing something with plastics. Um, anybody got access to the internet yet, or we cancel that one? No? Okay. It's, once more, if you want to try it, it's A-P-P-S-P-O-T, period. Uh, sorry, bogus, B-O-G-O-S-B-E-E-R dot appspot Dot com, and that'll give you a, what I call a programmer's interface with the system, which is kind of rough. My wife has no idea what it does. It's sort of equal to, greater than, less than, and so on. For instance, if you were looking for uh, beers that were less than a certain percentage of alcohol, you would go to the alcohol column, say, let's say 10%, less than 10%. There are, there are very few beers that are greater than 10%, by the way, and I learned all kinds of stuff about the, you know, the beer market while I was doing this, and um, I incidentally uh, indulged a little too much and put on about 20 pounds at one stage. <laughs> at one stage, I was drinking about two liters of beer a day, which for me is maybe a little much. And of course, uh, that sort of uh, uh, product testing Im impedes your productivity. So I'm, it's not like I recommend it, and I've dropped my consumption way back since then. Um, oh, we have, we have it here. Except, is it wrapping around? No, it's not wrapping around. OK. Um, thank you very much. Um, I'll, I'll just arrow around. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, let's say you um, you go to the brewer and you want a particular. Um, mm -hmm. Doesn't click. Am I doing something wrong? Oh. Use this button. Okay, and I say I want equal. And if you, for instance, know that you're a, a Molson fan, you would go M-O-L. Need to go in the right box. There you go. M-O-L. What's happening to... How about I drive? You tell me what okay. to do. Um, put mol Put an M-O-L in the Molson box. Okay. Doesn't have to be the full name and enter. Or up top. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
the, the wonders of modern technology. I have been in various forms of computing since somewhere around 1969. I hate to admit that I'm that old. Uh, but, uh, you know, it never ceases to amaze me the kinds of problems that you run into, like just this there. I think we're just going to, we'll, we'll yeah, move on. Yeah, but that, yeah. Thank okay. you very much. Uh, we've got another speaker coming. Okay. Well, so hopefully people will get a chance to just try that out on their own. And in defense of PyCon, I don't know if anybody uh, either was at or watched online uh, Google I.O. this year, but they had some pretty serious technical difficulties during a live demo, and I thought, you know, if Google can't do it, it's okay when it happens. <laughs> May I just say one last word? Sure. Um, just in case you're wondering, uh, that is written in Python, so there is Python content. And um, it's using the Django framework, so I've got that going. There's another aspect to it as well, which is uh, that I've used templates to generate a random system. Well, not a random system, but any particular system. Thank you. Thanks.